It's a time of crisis for Lindsay Lohan. She faces the possibility of prison for a theft charge. And she faces jail for a possible probation violation. And today, Lindsay's mother, Dina, is leaping to the troubled star's defense and pinpointing the source of Lindsay's many troubles, the media. The media makes it a lot, you know, a lot worse than it really is. This morning on Good Morning America, Dina Lowen told George Stephanopoulos the media is overblowing Lindsay Lowen's problems. To say that the media makes it a lot worse is ridiculous. How can the media possibly be making Lindsay's nasty legal predicament any worse, as Dina suggested this morning on GMA? George Stephanopoulos was wondering the exact same thing. What has the media gotten wrong? I mean, the media's got nothing wrong. It's just, it's what you do. You know, but what, you what, just, are we getting, just, what, what have we gotten wrong about the story? That's what I'm asking. I mean, I, I obviously can't talk about the case. So I'm going to be guarded, a little bit guarded there. But it's so sensationalized. You know, they, they talk about the dress she wore at court. To me, it's just ridiculous how it, it they take the onus off, off the real problem and what's really happening. And we do take it seriously, and it's not a joke. There's just so much propaganda surrounding it. So typical, Dina. Every, everybody's to blame. Dina Lowen also tells Good Morning America the media has gotten rougher on Lindsay since she was at the peak of her stardom back when she was 18. I think the media has changed. You know, when Lindsay was 18, that whole group of girls, Paris, Jessica Simpson, like the whole, I think it just changed. Ah, we hearken back to the simpler time when Lindsay Lowen was 18. It was 2004. George W. Bush won his second term in office, and an 18-year-old Lindsay Lohan was starring in a new movie called Mean Girls. I knew how this would be settled in the animal world. Of course, since then, by our count, Lohan has racked up five stays in rehab, two DUI arrests, including drunkenly chasing an unsuspecting victim who called 911. Oh my God, sir, they're following us. We need help. A cocaine possession arrest, two jail stays, countless probation violations. The court does find her violation of probation. And now a felony grand theft charge. Still, on Good Morning America this morning, Dina said the media is ignoring the whole story. You're not focusing on her sobriety and how well she's That's doing. That's what I was saying. And, and what's what's been going on personally with her. That's you know, what I was nobody just... talks about the positive. What positive is there? Comedian Carrie Riley tells Showbiz Tonight Lowen and her mom can only blame one person for Lindsay's bad press, and it's not the media. She hasn't done a lot of positive things to create positive press. In fact, over the years, just about all of Lindsay's problems, mistakes, and alleged crimes seem to have come complete with a TV appearance by her mother where she places some blame on the media. It's been very difficult with the tabloids. And this has always been Dina's strategy, is blame everyone else. And how's it working for you? On her appearance today on Good Morning America, Dina did acknowledge mistakes on Lindsay's part. She got a DUI in 2007. Certainly that is not the right thing to do. And I do not condone drinking and driving. But it happens, and it happened for her publicly. She's still paying a price for that, and I think they need to just let it go. But with Lindsay facing down the barrel of a possible prison sentence, an admitted addiction problem, and an overall inability to stay out of trouble, Dina Lowen may just need to let the blame the media media tours go as well. She needs to take the stance of, you know what, the buck stops here and my daughter's got some issues and she's got to work her way through it. Instead of making these excuses, it's exhausting.